How do we know you have the right sink tip on? So, this is the magical mystery of swinging a fly, right? How deep really am I? So, my analogy is understanding the position of the trout because of water temperature. Everything else I do is smoke and mirrors. So if the water temperature is 38, 36 degrees and getting colder, I know for a fact that the entire population of fish are going to be in the slower currents to the edge. Even though I want to cast out there, it means nothing. It's pretty much like flagging in an airplane. I could have on a T-14, I'll go bomb one out there, you're like, all right, I'm going to cast out there a T-14 out I go but the reality is there's no fish there's no fish there's no fish there's no fish then all of a sudden we'll speed it up in fast motion I get where the fish are right the slow stuff and all of a sudden it starts getting pricky oh snag oh snag oh, oh. put on the tip that you expect the water speed current to be steel had a really easy the warmer the water is the faster current they're going to be in they're going to look for faster currents. And same with big fish. Big fish have no problem laying in fast current. So if I'm fishing early season and I'm fishing for big fish, I'm fishing a heavy tip. If I'm up in British Columbia or wherever I'm going, I'm fishing a heavy tip. I'm going to make my cast out there because I know that they're going to be out there in that faster where the fast meets the slow. The big ones are going to lay. And the minute that I get in here, and it gets pricky, I'm just gonna strip it and get out of there. Because I know the fish can't be there because the water's too slow. So always think about the position of the fish and water temperature for your sink tip. If I know, like I say, that it's winter time, take your fly, take your sink tip, make a roll cast down, and let it hang on the dangle. If it tanks out in the bottom, basically you're gonna be a little bit too heavy. You wanna be able to just pick it up, tick the bottom, drop it down, pick it up, drop the bottom like this. Just be able to still work it without dragging and completely tanking on the bottom. Maybe one more thing. I keep jabbering, I keep remembering things. Because we're anglers and we're stationary, we think we're stationary, and the fish are stationary, right? Why can't we utilize what Kevin and the rest of you guys do with the boat is when we raise the anchor and the boat drops back, I can't tell you how many times that when I'm making a cast or when I'm fishing, I'm fishing, I'm fishing, I'm fishing just like this and then I see a little sweet spot, here we go, fishing, I'm fishing, I'm fishing like this. And all of a sudden I see the fly speed up a little bit right in the sweet spot, I'm gonna step right into them. I'm gonna step into them a little bit and then I'm gonna slack line it a little bit and then I'm gonna let it re-engage again. And when you step into it, that opens it up, it changes speed, it changes direction, it drops it back on them. A lot of times that's gonna get you that extra grab or fish here and there. Thanks for everybody for coming and enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks.